I'm Joe James. In this video, we're going to cover the merge sort. We'll take a detailed look at how the merge sort works. We'll look at the big O analysis of the running time for merge sort. And I'll show you how to write a Python program to do merge sort. So let's say we wanted to sort a small list of four integers, two, four, three, one. One way to sort them would be to break the list in half into two smaller lists, sort those two smaller lists. Now two, four is already sorted. 3, 1, we have to swap places. Now we have two smaller lists that are in sorted order. And then merge those two smaller lists back together. So to do that, we could compare the first two items, since we know those are the two smallest items. The leftmost item is the smallest item in each list, right? So we compare 2 to 1. 1 is smaller, so we'll add 1 back to the main list first. And then we compare 2 to 3. 2 is the smaller, so we add 2 to the main list. We compare 3 to 4, 3 is the smaller item, so we add 3 to the main list. And then we're done with the right list, and all we have left is the left list. There's a 4 left, so we add that to the main list. Now we have a sorted list of 4 items. That, in a nutshell, is how merge sort works. I'm going to walk through a more detailed example with 8 items in the list. So we'll number the items from 0 to 7. We'll start by splitting the list in half. So we'll have a left list and a right list, each with four items. And then we're going to take those two sublists and cut each of those in half into two smaller lists. Now we have four lists with two items each, all in unsorted order. Now we're going to break the list down one more step into eight lists with one item in each list. I know it sounds silly, but one item in each list. So since there's only one item in each list, we know that each list is sorted, right? If you have a list that only contains 17, then the 17 is in sorted order. So now we have eight lists that are in sorted order. Now we just need to merge them back together into one eight item list. That's where the magic comes in for merge sort. So we'll start by um, setting up four lists with two items each, and we'll merge adjacent items. So 17 and 87, we're going to compare. The 17 is smaller, so we'll add that first, and then the 87. So now we've merged lists 0 and 1. We're going to go to the next two items, 6 and 22. So 6 is smaller, we'll add that first, and then 22. We'll jump to the next two items. 3 is smaller. We'll add that first. And then the 41. And we'll jump to the last two lists, 13 and 54. 13 is smaller, and then 54. So now we've merged these bottom eight lists with one item each into four lists with two items each. So that's the first stage of the merge sort. So we're going to move those down to the bottom and we're going to merge these four lists of two items each into two lists of four items each. So we'll start with these four items on the bottom, 17, 87, 6, and 22. So we have basically two lists of two items that are in sorted order. That's what we start with. And we're going to move those into one list of four items in sorted order. So we'll compare 6 to 17. The 6 is smaller, so we'll place that up, move our pointer over to the 22. We'll compare 17 to 22. The 17 is smaller, so we'll move that up and move the pointer over to the 87. Now we compare 22 to 87. 22 is smaller. And now we don't need a pointer over here anymore, so we can just copy up the rest of the items on the leftmost list. And there's only one, so it's 87. So now we have the left list on the top it is now in sorted order. Now we're going to sort these two and move them into the top list. So we'll first compare 3 to 13. The 3 is smaller. We move that pointer over to the 41. We compare 41 to 13. 13 is smaller. We move that pointer over. Now we're going to compare 41 to 54. 41 is smaller. And we're done with that list, so we can just copy up the rest of the items in the right list. Now we have 
two lists with four items each that are in sorted order. We've got one more merge step to combine these into one list of eight items. So we'll start with the leftmost item, compare six to three, we get to three is smaller, we move that pointer over, we compare six to thirteen, the six is smaller, we compare seventeen to thirteen, thirteen is smaller, we compare seventeen to forty-one, the seventeen is smaller, twenty-two to forty-one, the twenty-two is smaller, eighty-seven to forty-one, the forty-one is smaller, eighty-seven to fifty-four, the 54 is smaller, and then we move the 87 up. Now we're done. So that is how the merge sort works. Now we have one list of eight sorted items. So merge sort is a recursive method. That means it's a method that calls itself, as I just showed you in the previous slide. It's also known as a divide and conquer algorithm because it breaks the problem down into a smaller set. In the, in the case of merge sort, it breaks it in half. Uh, it takes half of the problem and sorts that. And it's very efficient for large data sets, not necessarily so for smaller data sets, it's, but for larger data sets it's very efficient sorting method. Merge sort does log in merge steps because each merge step doubles the list size. And here in is obviously the number of items in the list. In the example we looked at where there were eight items in the list, log base 2 of 8 is 3, right? So we started with uh, one item per list, and we got to two items per list, and then four, and then eight. So it's three merge steps. It does in work for each merge step because it must look at every single item that you're trying to sort for each merge step. So it runs in big O of in log n time, right? Because you do in work per merge step, and you do log n merge steps. So it runs quite a bit faster than most other sorting algorithms. So let's look at how the merge sort program can be written in Python. So we're going to have three different functions. Our first, we want to have sort of a user interface, really. So when the user calls merge sort, all he has to pass in is a list A. And then we're going to have a recursive function, which we'll call merge sort 2. And we'll pass in our list A along with a start index and an ending index. When the user first calls it, uh, we want the entire list A, so we have a start index of zero and the last index in the list is the, the ending index. And then next we're going to have merge sort two function with A and then first and last indices is what it receives. And if first is less than last basically means if there's more than one item in the list, then we need to break the list in half, call merge sort two on each half, right? So we'll set up a middle, which is first plus last divided by two. That's the average of the first and last indices. We'll call merge sort two on the first half of the list and merge sort two on the second half of the list. And then when we get the return from those, we'll combine them together. And the merge function combines those two sorted lists together. So let's look at the merge function and see how that works. First, the merge is gonna take a list, A, the first, middle, and last index. We're going to start by copying over the first half of the list into a variable called L. So that'll be the left half of our list. And then the right half of our list, which is middle to last plus one, we're going to copy over to R for right. And then we're going to tack on to the end of each of these two halves a very large number so that we know when we reach the end of the list. And we need an index for each of those. So we'll use i for the index on left half and j for the index on the right half. And we want to in, uh, initialize both of those to zero. So our setup looks like this. We started out with list A. We had six elements in it, let's say. We copied the first three elements into list L. And we tacked on a 999 number. And we copied the second three elements to list R and then we tacked on a 999. And we initialized our index for each of these to zero. So we have an index i for l and j for r. Now one by one, we're gonna copy the smaller of these two back on over the top of what's in a. So these could be all blank for all we care at this point. We're gonna fill in this list a with the smaller of these two elements. So we use a loop using k for the index, which is a's index. 
and we're going to go the full range of elements in the list. And if the left item is smaller, we copy the left item up to A and increment the left index by 1. If the right item is smaller, we copy the right element up to A and we increment the right index by 1. That's it for our merge sort program. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.